Hi, it's Chris Crocker here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. Hope you're having a great day. Today is the anniversary of windstorm. So if you lived in the Spokane area five years ago, I'm sure you're having a much better day than you were at this time uh, five years ago. That was, that was a biggie. Uh, whew. I'll be talking more about that on the news tonight. Historic storm, biggest storm in Spokane recorded history. Let's talk about some much calmer weather, but not very pleasant weather. Here are four things to know about your forecast. We have more showers on the way for Wednesday, probably right around the noon hour. It is gonna be warmer than average. We're gonna be up around 50 degrees again tomorrow, a little bit cooler than what it was today. We're drying out for the weekend and cooling back down uh, to more average temperatures uh, we have been above for the past couple days. Here's a look at our satellite and radar and we do have uh, some wet weather in progress although the more steady rains today have been over north Idaho. Snow levels are fairly high because temperatures uh, have been running about 15 degrees above average. Here's a look at your 24-hour forecast. Um, starting off uh, this model does not initialize all that great, which is a little bit of an indication of its um, accuracy going forward. It seems to be quite a bit drier, but as we go through the overnight, cold front approaches, that's going to cool things down a bit for tomorrow, but we're still above average. Then another system comes in tomorrow afternoon, bringing us another round of valley rain and mountain snow, and uh, possibly even some showers around the evening commute time. Meanwhile, overnight lows tonight in most locations are going to be above freezing. A couple of cool spots there, Colville and Deer Park, getting down to 30 degrees. Tomorrow's highs will be up in the 40s and 50s. Our average high is in the lower 40s right now. And we will be cooling back down, uh, but still not quite to average until possibly Sunday. By next week, our average high is in the upper 30s. A dry week end ahead, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I think that would be a good weekend to start on the Christmas lights. Um, and here's my theory. I feel like with everything going on, people went all out for Halloween decorations. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I had uh, because the neighborhood was so pretty uh, and festive around harvest time. And I think uh, that people are really going to take it up a notch with the outdoor holiday lights in this troubled time. What a joy that would bring to the neighborhood. So my plan is to get an early start. And I think I would just like to share that idea with you because I think it's a good one. And to, this weekend would be a great weekend to be out raking up the last of the leaves and getting up those lights. Because I can't guarantee that it is not going to be miserable every weekend beyond this weekend. <laughs> We're just La Nina. All right. Public service announcement over. Forecast is over too. Have a great um, day. And I'll see you back here tomorrow.